Hey Modern Skeps fam and welcome back to another video. Continuing the theme of Spiritual Saturday, I've picked the topic of Tawakkul. And Tawakkul literally means reliance in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is extremely important because I feel like as humans, we have this belief that if we plan our lives and we do exactly X, Y, and Z, that our lives will turn out the way it is. We have this illusion of control over exactly what happens. And we need that as humans in order to continue. But we find that when it doesn't happen for us or our plans doesn't work out, we feel devastated or hopeless or even angry. But it's in those situations that we need to have the reliance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's plan is better than the plan we don't have for ourselves. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most knowledgeable and is the most merciful and he has the best of plans for you. And this reminds me of the story of the king and his servant. And this story goes that there is a king who was fencing and in while he was fencing, he ended up losing his finger. Then the servant came up to him and said, oh, there must be khair in this. There must be good in the fact that the, your finger was cut off. So the king, like anybody else, would be upset at the fact, like, how can there be anything good about my finger being cut off? So he puts the servant in jail for what he said. And the next day, he ends up going on a hunting trip. The king goes, and as he's hunting, he gets surrounded by this tribe of cannibals. And they go and they want to sacrifice him. While they're inspecting him, they realize that he doesn't meet the criteria for sacrifice because he's imperfect because guess what? His finger's cut off. He realizes now that there was good in it and goes back to the servant and tells him what happened. He tells him his story. And the servant goes, wow, thank God I was thrown in jail. So the king was confused. He's like, why? He's like, I understand now the good of my finger being cut off, but what's the good of you being thrown in jail? And the servant goes, if I hadn't been thrown in jail, I would have been on the hunting trip with you. And as you can see, my finger wasn't cut off and I'm physically considered perfect. So therefore, I would have been sacrificed. So there's the beauty in it. And I always love listening to this story because it gives me a comfort that things that maybe seem as hardships, things that maybe seem as drawbacks in our lives can be actually what saves us. And we don't know that because we have limited knowledge. So to have the tawakkul in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's plan that he will save us, we will be like the king and those, his servant in those situations. And it's also not to have this false image of what tawakkul is either, where you find these people that say, oh, I have reliance in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give me $10 million. But then you don't go to work and you stay at home, but then you expect to have $10 million anyway. Or you say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will heal me from my sickness, but then refuse to take the medicine that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent your way. That's not how tawakkul works. You need to still put in your work. You need to still put in your effort and then have trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for you. That even if in a hadith, Allah, Muhammad sallallahu says that if a whole, the whole world wants to give you something, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have it written for you, then you won't get it. But in the twist of that, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't have it written that they will harm you, that even if the whole world tried to harm you, it's impossible that they can't because it's not written for you. So have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's plan and do your due diligence in your life. In the Quran it says, if you rely on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will suffice you. So you will have everything you need. It doesn't mean that you won't have hardships in your life, but it means that you, there will be either benefits to that hardship or those hardships will take away bigger hardships or that you will get a benefit of that in the Akhirah. So trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of planners. See you in another video.